Welcome back. In this teaching, we have looked at 9.4 constant acceleration form D2. 9.4 reps in chapter 9, section 4 of the basis in A level master plan mastery 1, textbook. This video here is an extension to my video on 9.3 constant acceleration form D1. The add ons are these three constant acceleration formulas. The third one is S equal UT plus a half AT squared. The fourth one is S equal VT minus a half AT squared. And the fifth one, ladies and gents, V squared is equal U squared plus 2AS. I've been implementing these key facts within this exam style question. Let's have a look at the exam style question. A particle is moving along the x axis with constant deceleration 4 meters per second per second. At time t equals 0, p passes through the origin O with velocity 14 meters per second in the positive direction. The point A lies on the axis and O to A is equal to 22.5 meter. Find part A, the difference between the times when p passes through A, and part B, the total distance travelled by P during the interval between these times. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. I'm going to start by drawing a diagram to model this particular problem. So here is my diagram. Okay, a particle is moving along the x-axis with constant deceleration 4 meters per second per second. So the deceleration, I'm going to label it to the left with double arrows, it is 4 meters per second per second. At time t equals 0, p passes through the origin O. So this is the particle p. At time t equals 0, p passes through the origin O. With velocity 14 meters per second. Okay, so we've got velocity 14 meters per second in the positive direction. The point A lies on the axis and O to A is 22.5 meter. So, here's a point A. And we know that the distance on to A is 22.5 meter. Right, find the difference between the times when P passes through A. Okay, so that means P passes through A at two times and values. Um, how does this even make sense? Well, basically what we have is that point and P slots at the origin, moves in this direction, passes through A, and then continues to move to a point B. Okay, so let's call that random point. B. Now at point B it will change direction and it will come back to A. That's why there are two T values at A. But at the point of it reversing its direction, the velocity is zero meters per second for a split second. Okay? So suppose that the particle I'm moving. Okay. When I reverse direction for a split second, my velocity is zero. Okay. So now I'll start moving the other way. So that's important, yeah? <clears throat> okay. Wicked. Right, so this is my diagram. Now what we want to do is work out the two T values and A. Okay, when it first passes through A and then when it returns to A. Okay, so for this particular problem, part A, we're going to consider motion <coughs> O to A. Take right to be in the positive direction. And we're going to use two bells. Okay, from O to A, <coughs> the S, the distance is 22.5 meter. The initial velocity is 40 meters per second. Um, we don't know the final velocity at A, so we can put an X there. The acceleration is basically in minus 4 because remember we're taking the right to be the positive direction and over here the acceleration or you could say deceleration is acting to the left so it's minus 4 and we're trying to work out the times. Okay so we've got S, we've got U and we're not interested in V, we're interested in A and we're interested in T. So um, the formula that fits S, U, A, T it's going to be the third one. So we've got S E or U T plus a half A T squared. So now we can substitute the values in. If we do this, we get 22.5 is equal 14 T plus a half multiplied by, by minus four. And then we've got T squared. So let's clean this up. And we get a quadratic equation. We can take everything to the left hand side. So we have 2t squared minus 14t plus 22.5 equals 0. 
So now I can apply the quadratic formula to work out the two t values. So if I use the quadratic formula, I get t equal 2.5, t equal 4.5. So it first passes through a when the time is 2.5, and then it returns to a at the time t equal 4.5. So what we want to do is find the difference between the times where P passes through A. Okay, so to find the difference, ladies and gents, all we have to do is 4.5 take away 2.5. This gives us 2. Therefore, the difference in time uh, will equal 2 seconds. That completes part A of the question. Okay, wicked. Let's move on to part B. So in part B, we want to find the total distance traveled by P during the interval between these times. Okay, right, so at time T equal 2.5, uh, the particle P passes through A. And so we'll continue to move to B. And then we'll come back to A when the time is T equal 4.5. So this distance travelled here, we can call it x, and then this distance travelled here, we can call it x. So the total distance travelled by p during the interval between these times, in other words, the total distance travelled between time t equal 2.5 seconds and t equal 4.5 seconds ladies and gents it will equal 2 x okay so now our target is to work out x how do we work out x well first we know that at that point a s the distance is 22.5 meter we want to work out the distance at the point B as well. What is that distance? We need to calculate that. Okay, so I'm about to do that now. All right, to do this, consider motion O to B. Okay, we're going to take right to be the positive direction. You see that. Right, so from O to B, we know that the initial velocity is 40, final velocity, well, it's going to be zero, because at the point B, the point of B reverses its direction, so the velocity is zero then. Um, the distance is what we're trying to calculate, so question mark. Uh, the acceleration will be minus four, and the time taken, we don't know, so we can just put an X there. So we're interested in S, U, V, and a. So the SUVAP that fits S, U, B, and A is going to be the final one, number 5. V squared equal U squared plus 2AS. So we've got V squared equal U squared plus 2AS. Let's substitute the values in. So we've got 0 squared equal 14 squared plus 2 lots of minus 4 multiplied by S. Okay, so we've got 0 equal 196 minus 8s, so minus 196 is equal minus 8s, therefore s is equal to 24.5 meter. So we know that at a, s is equal to 22.5 meter, and so at b, s is equal to 24.5 meter. Okay, so what is the x? Well, x, ladies and gents, will be the difference between 24.5 and 22.5. So that will be 2 meter. And therefore, the total distance traveled between the time t equal 2.5 and t equal 4.5 will have to equal 2 lots of two meter which is four meter okay so therefore the answer to part b is four meter 
This completes the exam study in question and this teaching video 9.4 constant acceleration for me too. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.